as you may have just noted, this is Woody's world, and it is my world, and Les just lives in it. I'm going to talk about Nate Boyer. It's one of the great stories. We talk about the draft, and this is not a local story. Nate Boyer didn't play high school football, went off and joined the Army. He became a Green Beret. And as late as last year, in the offseason, I'm getting to that, Nate Boyer was in Afghanistan and received the Bronze Star. He fought in Iraq. He went to the University of Tennessee, I'm sorry, University of Texas. I get the two confused because they're both UT. Went to the University of Texas, unless you're getting a kick out of this. He was the guy who waved the flag as the team came out on the field. He would wave the, the University of Texas flag. He started studying videos of long snapping because he was 5'11", weighed about uh, 220 pounds. He was not big enough to play linebacker or defensive end. He wanted still to be a football player. Finally, he tried out as a walk-on at the University of Texas, and the Longhorns long snapper was injured in the season, so they put him in as a long snapper. His career was over. He was finished, and he obviously wasn't drafted by the NFL for one reason, other than the fact he hadn't really played football. He's 34 years old, <laughs> and I don't laugh at that B, but 34 years old is not a guy who's going to be a contender for a spot in the NFL draft as a long snapper. Well, guess what happened? When the draft ended, the Seattle Seahawks offered him a contract. He's coming to camp. They have a long snapper, but they want competition. So think about this. The Denver Broncos have signed a guy that kicked in college for about a week and a half, and he's coming in to try out for kicker because of videos of him kicking 72-yard field goals. The Seattle Seahawks, now whether this, uh, this wasn't a publicity, they don't need publicity stunts in Seattle. They've got a great team that's been in the last two Super Bowls and could have won both of them. They won one of them. They have a long snapper under long-term contract, but they are rewarding a guy for all his hard work over the years. And the thing about it is at the University of Texas, he was a great long snapper. So I just think it's the best story of the draft. We're always talking about you pick the best player available. Well, nobody picked the best player available. The best man available in the draft was a guy who was Green Beret. Army Special Services, fought in Iraq, fought in Afghanistan, has served his country, has served his university, has served his life well, and now he's going to get a chance at the age of 34 to possibly play in the NFL. We've seen these stories in baseball where guys come out of nowhere, but how often do you ever see a 34-year-old rookie in the National Football League? If you don't pull for Nate Boyer to make the uh, Seattle Seahawks, then you're a bad person. Nate, we wish you well, and maybe we'll see you in the Super Bowl on the other team. I'm Woody Page, and that's my opinion. Woody's World brought to you by Shanahan Steakhouse, which has been selected by the public as a best restaurant at Denver. It's been selected by me and Les as the best restaurant at Denver. You want to go out there and try the appetizers, have the best steak in town, have the best side dish in town, which was lobster mac and cheese. Try their wine list, which is the best in all of Denver. The service is the best in all of Denver. Mark Sterren, the managing general partner, is the best in Denver. It's a 2015 Diner's Choice winner. That's Shanahan Steakhouse. Book a reservation today by going to shanahansteakhouse.com.